Hello! Alright, so before I actually properly begin this November nonsense, I just want to say I think I've made a decision, and that is, there are two words left from all the three different things that I've been picking words from. And this video is going up on the 28th, I believe, if my calculations are correct. And so today will be one of the words, and then tomorrow will be one of the words, and then what I'm going to do for the 30th of November is I'm going to have my November recap, I think. But that only works if I upload my October recap before November nonsense. And I personally now don't know that until, until November, really. So basically I'm going to film two more videos sort of ahead of time for November nonsense. And then I'm going to leave the last day open to possibilities. And either that will be my November recap or it'll be one of the words that my sister gave me, because I do still have, I think, one or two more words that she gave me. And I'm really happy about this because I really want to film more videos, I really want to be... Uh, there's a lot more I want to do. I want to edit more, I'm on top of my editing as of when I'm filming this, which is just mental. But I'm, like, totally booked up until the start of next year. As of when I'm filming this, it's July. So I'm literally, like, six months ahead. And one of my goals for next year, and I am going to make a video about this, which you might see soonish. I don't know when it's going to go up, but I have the intention of getting it up in December. But one of my goals is to minimise the space between when I'm filming stuff and uploading it. I don't like that things are six months ahead. It's lovely in the sense of not having to stress about filming anything, but it just feels dishonest. It feels like if something exciting were to happen, I won't be able to talk about it. It just, it just doesn't feel right. It's not what I want. And I'd rather risk there being a delay and not uploading as consistently, but being more honest, I think. I don't know. As I say, there's going to be a whole video about this probably coming up in the next week or two, if all goes to plan. But I just wanted to share it. That's the first time I've said it out loud. I've written it down, obviously, but just wanted to take the opportunity to talk about it as well. All right, so the two words we have left, one is from Hannah Witten's Dear June 2021, and one is from 2019, and they are fantasy and wishing. And you'd think those would actually be quite easy words to make videos about. That's what I would think anyway. And yet I've really been struggling with it and I don't know why and I don't even know which one I'm gonna pick for today and I'm already four minutes into this video. I think we'll go for fantasy. I mean realistically I'll probably film both today anyway but we'll start with fantasy for now and you would have known that because you would have read the title. Why is my hair such a mess? All right so the potential thoughts I had when considering fantasy to talk about because I like to make little notes for myself of course I do and the things that sort of came to mind were books, obviously, and dreams. And so I've done a little Google and I just want to find the actual definition of fantasy and it is as follows. The faculty or activity of imagining impossible or improbable things. And so in a way, this has now given me an idea for what I want to talk about. Because last night I had a dream and in my dream something happened and then sort of the follow on dream from that, the sequel, so to speak, was me making a YouTube video about what had happened. And then when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, I can't make a video about that because it didn't actually happen. But it was a fantasy, it was a dream, so those are kind of linked, as I said. And so I am going to talk about it because it was definitely highly improbable. So I think I've mentioned a few times on my channel already. I say I think. I know I've mentioned quite a few times about Gadri, which is the band I used to love as a kid and was like utterly obsessed with. And then I sort of finally managed to forget about it a bit not be as obsessed anyway. Never really forgot about it, but I was like properly obsessed. And I finally managed to get to a point of not being obsessed anymore. And then every time I go to Holland, it comes back. I just, I just get reminded of it and I listen to the songs again and I start watching the movies or TV shows or different things again. And so a couple of the TV shows that have been sort of a part of Kadri and a part of my life are the like searches. They do like reality TV show searches for when they're trying to find replacements, if someone leaves or if all three stop or whatever. And I think I did speak about this very briefly in another video or maybe a future one, I don't know. But last night I dreamed that I participated in one of those TV shows trying to become the next Gadri member and that I came second. And coming second doesn't earn you the spot, you need to win it. And so the sequel dream, the video that was made in that was called Second Best. And also in my dream I had loads of like interviews and stuff about being second and not getting the part. And the thing that kept coming back to me, obviously I was disappointed to not have got in because that is a dream of mine as well. A very unrealistic, improbable dream. We're coming back to fantasy, I promise. But aside from being disappointed and upset, I was really, really proud of myself to have got that far. 
And I think that's sort of the message that we can spread in the world, that you don't need to be the best at something, you don't need to win. And obviously being the best at something is the best, obviously, but there is nothing wrong with being second best or even third best. You know, being able to do a good job, even if it's not the best job ever, still deserves like recognition, I guess. And I don't know, I guess this maybe relates to acting as well, where you do an audition and, you know, thousands of people, hundreds of people, however many, do an audition and only one person's going to get the part. But some people will drop off at the first round and some people will make it to the finals. And I think acknowledging that getting as far as the finals is in and of itself already something to be proud of. And obviously then it's like upsetting that you don't get the part and you don't get the contract and, you know, obviously that's why you do it. You don't do it to get to the finals, you do it to get the part. And it's so heartbreaking if you then don't get the part. But I think it's just about acknowledging like, all right, I didn't get the part, that sucks, but I made it this far. And it's not even about getting to the finals, it's about getting past the first round. I think sort of every step you make should be celebrated. And it doesn't necessarily have to be about the end goal. Obviously that's why we do things. But if we don't make it that far, that doesn't detract from what we have done and what we have got. Am I talking nonsense? Probably. Is this related to fantasy? Not really. <laughs> Maybe this would have been better with wishing, because I wish, you know, I wish to get the parts, blah blah blah. So I have to think of something else for tomorrow. But those, those are my really random, stretched out, strange, absurd thoughts. And an insight into my dreams, there you go. Aren't you lucky? I'm trying to think now what I'm gonna do for wishing tomorrow, and I'm blanking. But I don't need to worry about that, because I don't have to start filming that video now. I do still have a few months. Like, it's now mid-July, so I've got... August, November, just skipped a bunch of months there. August, September, October, November, four and a half months. I think I can handle that. So on that note, I will see you all tomorrow and maybe it'll be me like this or maybe it'll be me a few weeks, months, years down the line. It won't be years though. I need to stop talking. Goodbye. <laughs>